You sit in front of your laptop and stare at the screen. You want to learn coding. You want to enjoy it. You want to feel that spark that other developers talk about. But sometimes coding feels boring. Sometimes it feels confusing. Sometimes it feels like nothing is clicking. And deep down, you keep wondering how to make this thing interesting, how to make it something you can actually enjoy and not something you force yourself to do. Today, let's talk about that. Not the quick motivational quotes, not the short answers, but the real truth about how to make coding interesting in a way that changes your experience forever. The first thing you need to understand is that coding becomes interesting when it becomes meaningful. If you are learning random topics that you do not care about, your brain will not spark. You might watch tutorials, follow steps, write code exactly as the instructor says, but nothing inside you lights up. Coding feels like a chore when it does not relate to something you genuinely want to see exist. Think about a musician. If they only practiced scales and never played songs they loved, they would quit. Coding is the same. You have to connect what you're learning to something that matters to you. It could be a simple idea, a calculator you wish existed, a small game, a personal website, a habit tracker, a budget tool, anything that feels real to you. The more personal it feels, the more interesting coding becomes. But that is only the beginning. Coding becomes interesting when it stops feeling like an obligation when you remove pressure from yourself. Many beginners enter coding with too much weight. They feel like every line of code determines their future. They feel like if they do not understand something today, they might never understand it. They feel like they need to rush and catch up with everyone else. That pressure kills enjoyment. You need to replace pressure with curiosity. You need to learn code with the same energy a child has when they discover something new. No fear, no expectations, just curiosity. Another powerful way to make coding interesting is to tell stories with your code. Everything you build is a story. Every function is a chapter. Every bug is a plot twist. Every solution is the lesson. When you start to see your coding journey as a series of small stories, the process becomes more alive. You stop feeling like you are memorizing rules and start feeling like you are discovering things. You can also make coding interesting by surrounding yourself with inspiration. Listen to other developers talk about their struggles and breakthroughs. Watch documentaries about technology. Read stories of how small ideas became billion dollar companies. Look at old inventions. Explore how innovators think. When your mind stays inside an inspiring environment, coding becomes a part of that energy. Another thing that makes coding interesting is challenge. Not overwhelming challenge, not stress, but healthy challenge. Your brain loves puzzles. It loves to solve problems. It loves to overcome something slightly above your current level. That is why games are addictive. They give you obstacles that are not impossible, but not too easy. When you pick coding challenges that match your level, your brain experiences satisfaction every time you succeed. That satisfaction slowly turns into interest. Eventually, it becomes passion. But let us talk about something people rarely admit. Coding becomes interesting when you allow yourself to learn slowly. Yes, slowly. You have been tricked by social media into believing that learning fast is the only way to succeed. But the truth is that learning slowly creates deeper understanding. Deeper understanding creates confidence. And confidence creates interest. You enjoy things more when you feel competent, not perfect, just capable. And capability comes from repeated small wins, not from rushing. Another reason people lose interest in coding is because they learn in isolation. They study alone, they code alone, they get stuck alone, they feel lost alone. But when you join a community, a group of people with the same struggle, coding becomes meaningful. It becomes shared. You start cheering with each other, learning from each other, laughing at bugs together, celebrating progress together. Coding becomes interesting when it feels like a journey you are not walking alone. There is something else that makes coding interesting. It is progress tracking. Humans love seeing improvement. It motivates us. It gives us energy. When you track what you learn, even if it's just writing down the date and the topic, you start to enjoy the journey. You look back and see how far you have come. Every small step becomes fuel. Another way to make coding interesting is to reduce friction. Sometimes coding feels boring simply because the environment is not right. Your desk may not be comfortable. Your workspace may distract you. Your energy may be low. Coding needs flow. It needs a calm space. It needs focus, a clean table, good lighting, a quiet moment. These small things matter more than you think. Let's go deeper. Coding becomes interesting when you stop memorizing code and start understanding concepts. Memorizing code is draining. It's boring, it's stressful, but understanding concepts feels powerful. When something clicks, you feel excitement. That excitement is what keeps you coming back. When you realize why something works, you gain confidence. Confidence creates interest. Another thing that makes coding interesting is exploring behind the scenes. Every tool you use, every software you see, every platform you visit has a story. Someone built it, someone wrote the code. When you explore how things were made, your mind becomes curious. That curiosity makes coding fun. You can also make coding interesting by creating challenges for yourself. Tell yourself, today I will try to build something in a different way. Today I will simplify this. 
Today I will understand this deeply. Today I will see if I can improve this. Little self-made tasks make coding feel like a game. Another powerful factor is vision. You need a bigger reason behind your learning. A future you are building toward. Maybe you want a good job. Maybe you want to build your own software company. Maybe you want to create something people will use. Maybe you want financial freedom. Maybe you want a global impact. When your goal is strong, coding becomes meaningful and meaning creates interest. Let me tell you something essential. Coding becomes interesting the moment you stop worrying about being perfect. Many people lose interest because they fear mistakes. They fear not understanding. They fear looking slow. But the truth is that mistakes are part of the journey. The more you make them, the more experience you gain. When you embrace mistakes instead of fearing them, the journey becomes enjoyable. Coding becomes interesting when your mindset shifts from pressure to exploration. Now let's go even deeper into the psychology behind this. Your brain needs reward. Every time you finish a small task, give yourself a moment to recognize it. Appreciate your progress. Celebrate your small wins. This will make coding enjoyable. Your brain will link coding with positive emotions instead of stress. Another thing that makes coding interesting is switching mediums. Sometimes watching videos feels boring. Try reading. Sometimes reading feels tiring. Try audio. Sometimes tutorials feel repetitive. Try interactive platforms. Sometimes you need silence. Sometimes you need music. Sometimes you need a different chair or room. Changing your environment and learning medium refreshes your interest. Coding becomes interesting when you give your brain variety. Let's talk about mindset again. If you learn coding thinking it's hard, your brain will get tired quickly. But if you approach it like a fun puzzle, your energy changes. Coding becomes interesting when you shift your perspective. Another secret is teaching. When you explain something to someone else, you understand it better and you enjoy it more. Even if you teach imaginary people, even if you record your explanations, teaching builds interest. Let's talk about pacing. Coding becomes interesting when you stop rushing, when you take breaks, when you allow yourself time to breathe, when you space out your sessions. Your brain needs rest to process what you have learned. Without rest, everything becomes boring. There is also something powerful in storytelling. If you tell yourself the story of your progress, you begin to enjoy it. Tell yourself where you started. Tell yourself where you are now. Tell yourself where you want to go. Your journey becomes a narrative. That narrative makes coding meaningful. Ultimately, coding becomes interesting when it becomes a part of who you are. When you stop saying, I'm trying to learn coding and start saying, I'm becoming a developer. Identity transforms interest. You begin to enjoy the process because it becomes a part of who you are. Coding becomes interesting when you stop treating it as a task and start treating it as a craft, a skill, a path, a journey. And that journey will transform your life.